32nd annual Memorial Day concert is honoring veterans this Sunday. Joining me now is Vietnam combat nurse Diane Carlson Evans and actor and veterans activist Joe Montagna. Hey everybody, welcome to KUSI. Thank you very much. Welcome. You, you bet. Diane, you. If, I'm happy to be here. Diane, if you don't mind, I'd like to start with you because in reading up for this interview, uh, you know, you, you experienced the, the savagery of war firsthand. You've held the hand of a soldier as he takes his last breath. And yet, in the notes that I read about this interview, you said that that didn't hit you until about 20 years later. Could you, could you share that story with us? I can. And for us nurses in Vietnam, we were there to bring those men home alive. That was our job. That was our mission. And we measured up. And I was extremely proud of those women. And yet when I came home from Vietnam in 1969, the anti-war movement was on. And we came home to an ungrateful nation. The 20 years you mentioned was, um, I didn't talk about it. And when, in 1982, when they dedicated the wall and the eight nurses who died in Vietnam, their names are on the wall. And the statue to three men was dedicated two years later. It became clear to me that I wanted to find these women and I wanted to see that they too were honored so that we could begin to heal and begin to share our stories. We kept those stories inside for years. And now it's been more than 50 years since yeah. we've come home. And so many of those stories are now being shared. So for this National Memorial Day concert this year on Sunday night to honor and recognize us is an overwhelming, um, it's just joyful for me to know that we aren't forgotten. And the men and women who served and gave the ultimate sacrifice, it is Memorial Day. So it's to remember them. Uh, but those of us who survived the war, we have their memories in our hearts and in our minds, and we never forget them. And the healing music and the tributes and the stories that will be shared at this concert to include among all women and men who've ever served, but focusing on the nurses this year is just such a great privilege I bet it is. to be participating. Uh, Joe, when you hear Diane speak, I, I imagine you, it kind of cements what you said. Uh, you're on record saying Memorial Day is the most important of holidays. Would you like to expand on that a little bit? Yeah, without question, because I mean, I, I, and, and it was a revelation for me in the sense that um, 20 years ago when I first did this concert, I, 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 I went to it thinking, okay, this would be an perhaps an interesting way to spend Memorial Day weekend, yet Memorial Day didn't have as much significance for me as it would from that point on. Because I had members of my family in the military and friends, but really there hadn't been any real losses. And so the Memorial Day was was just this holiday mainly for other people, you know. And once I did that concert that first time and realized just the, 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 the debt we owed to be able to live in the country we live in and to live the lives we have and the, the, the sacrifices that men and women have continually made in this country over our over two, you know, 250 year existence it really hit me like uh, with such impact from, and, and it was easy for me to make that realization that not only is it an important holiday it is the most important holiday because without it we have no other holidays there's no reason to have a fourth of july or a labor day or a president's day or any other day right without those sacrifices, because then the United States, as we know, it would not exist. Joe, so we owe so much to all those men and women and people like Diane. And so right. for that reason, it's the most important holiday for me that we celebrate in this country. We're going to lose our satellite window in about 90 seconds. Maybe you can just quickly go over the all the people that are going to be participating. Well, we've got, it runs a gamut from the four tops to Gladys Knight and the Pips, Vince Gill, uh, Alan Jackson, Steve Buscemi, Kathy Baker will be telling Diane's story. Uh, my dear friend Gary Sinise once again will be the co-host with me. Uh, wonderful cross-section of musical talent, acting talent. Uh, General Colin Powell, of course, will be with us again. It's 90 minutes that will truly explain to anyone and everyone just what Memorial Day is all about and do it in a, in a, in a moving way, an entertaining way. And I think it's worth carving out 90 minutes out of your Memorial Day weekend to check it out. 
I think, Diane, would you like to second that? I mean, I imagine with every passing Memorial Day, the, 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 the day becomes even more important to you. Well, for me, it brings back memories of those we lost in Vietnam and those names that are on the wall. So it's a very important day for me, but every day is Memorial Day for me because every day, you know, it never goes away. We think about those uh, men who gave their all and women. So I just echo what Joe said. It's, it's just a, a beautiful concert that is so important to our nation. It connects us and brings us together and brings pride in uh, our servicemen and women. So I am grateful to Joe and Gary and the producers. And, the and everyone's, everyone shares that gratitude <laughs> uh, to, to you both. Uh, thank you for sharing your stories. Hey, Joe, just before, because I'll probably never get a chance to speak to you again, could you quickly tell me what it's like to be being friends with a beetle? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I got to say, I, it's, uh, the, it, it's it's pretty great being of, of the generation that I, I am from. And so when I first met Ringo at the uh, the Grammy Awards that particular year, when I was a presenter, that, that was a you know, it was it was that was another life changing moment in my life <laughs> in a whole other yeah, way. You got to get him involved but, in this uh, uh, one I'm day. Proud to be able to call him one of a friend. All right. Well, uh, Diane and uh, Joe, thank you for making time for KSI. I know you got to do a lot of these, so uh, we, we wish you success, and you're both in our thoughts. Thank you thank very you. much.